So let's practice some rhythmic dictation. So the first part of GBD is grid. Now you've seen that I've already set up a grid here. We have two measures of 4-4 four, four time. So I have four ticks in each measure, each tick getting a beat. And since we're in 4-4, four, four, each beat is a quarter note. After we set up our grid, G, we have B, which is beat. Uh, you will always hear at least one full preparatory measure before the dictation begins, before the melody starts playing. And since we are in 4-4, four, four, we will hear four clicks before the melody starts. So when you hear those clicks, you want to get your hand going, your foot tapping, to keep that beat so you know where each of those beats are, so that you're ready for when the melody begins. After G, B, we have D, dash. So when the melody starts, you want to write a dash over those tick marks that have a note that's on the beat. If you hear a note that extends beyond a single beat, we'll draw a line all right, over the duration. So if there's a half note or a whole, a whole note, um, there are going to be no uh, eighth notes. So there are no dots in this melody, so we won't have to worry about that. Our smallest duration will be a quarter note. So let's uh, give this a try, all right? So we'll have here four clicks and then the melody will begin. One, two, three, four. All right, that's it. Let's hear it again. I'm gonna kind of talk through our dictation here. Two, three, four. Dash, 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 line, dash, dash, line, dash. Now notice those dashed lines were one note that was longer than a single beat. So now let's translate our shorthand into actual notes that we can, that everyone can understand. So just a single dash by itself is just a quarter note, and then another dash, another quarter note. Here we have a dash followed by a line. So this of course means there's one note taking up the span of two beats. So that, of course, is a half note. Again, we have just a single dash. A dash followed by a line again, so that's another half note. And then a single dash, so another quarter note. All right, so let's listen to the melody one more time and follow along with the correct notation. Two, three, four. Three, four, one, two, three, four. All right, let's do one more example, this time in three, four. Now I've already made the grid here. Since we're in three, four, there are only three beats per measure. So I have three tick marks in each measure. Each of those ticks is equal to a beat or a quarter note since we're in three, four. Now after we've set up our grid, we have B, which is beat. Uh, you'll always hear at least one full preparatory measure still, but since we're in 3-4, we'll only hear three clicks, since there's only three beats in a measure. So we'll go one, two, three, and then we'll go. Now, we'll use again, use dashes for notes that are on the beat, but in this example, we're also going to have eighth notes, notes that come in on the and or the upbeat. So we'll want to use dots when we hear notes like that. And we'll just put the dots in between the tick marks wherever we hear them. All right? One other thing to note is that since there are going to be eighth notes, I'm going to be counting one and two and three and uh, during the preparation to show where those ands are. You can, so you can actually see them on the hand. When the hand is up like this, that is an and or an upbeat. All right, so let's give this one a go. One and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three. All right, that was kind of fast, wasn't it? Let's listen again. Two and three and dash, dash, dot, dash, dot, nothing, dash, dot, dash. All right, so let's translate this shorthand. Again, we have a dash just by itself, not with a line following it, it's a quarter note. Now we have a dash followed by a dot. So that means there are two notes, two attacks in this single beat. Well, since we know that 
an eighth note is half of a beat. Two eighth notes would equal a whole beat. So there are two eighth notes filled in this beat. And when you notate two eighth notes, it's best to beam them together instead of doing them individually with the little flags. This just helps show that these two notes fill up a whole beat uh, and is easier to read. So moving on, we have dash dot again, so it's the same. So another two eighth notes that we beam. Here, we didn't hear any note here. So that means it was a rest. And since we have a note that happens on the second beat, we know that this rest was only worth one beat. So that's a quarter rest. So draw a quarter rest. Again, we have a dash followed by a dot. Two eighth notes, right? So we write those in. And then just a dash. Now listen one more time and we'll follow along with this correct notation. One and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three. All right, so hopefully this gives you a little primer on what rhythmic dictation is and how to do it. Uh, this is a skill that you will develop throughout the rest of this semester as we add melody and in later courses even harmony. Thanks for watching.